you camping going so far? Yeah, camp's been very good this time around. Uh, it's been a hard camp, grueling. It's coming to the end of it now. Just uh, a few last spars and then uh, ready to cool down. Uh, obviously, last fight was against uh, Joe Parker. What things did you learn from that fight? And have you been implementing those things into your camp this time? Yeah, you can see a different, a different fight. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting back in the ring and uh, in showing the improvements while I've been working over Christmas. Okay, uh, so you're fighting for the Longsdale belt this time. So what would winning that mean to you and your whole team? Yeah, it means a lot. It means another step forward, uh, getting back in there and uh, getting back to the top. So I'll get this fight on and hold it upwards. He is an uncrowned world champion, sat there. He should be a world champion. You know, he's not a world champion, not because he got beat in the ring, there's politics outside of it. So he won that. You know, look, you've got the ring magazine, the lineal boxing above all the belts. It's a holy grail of boxing. They had him four to five rounds ahead. People like that in world boxing don't make that errors. So it's quite clear to see, you know, he was just he just looked another class in there. Yeah. He looked a league above Joseph Park, to be honest. You know, in there he was relaxed, he was comfortable. At no time was he distressed. You know, he could have done more. But no matter what he'd have done that night, he wouldn't have won. Okay, so this fight's going to be the, your UK debut. How much are you looking forward to fighting in the UK? I can't wait. I haven't boxed since August last year. So, just to box again is great for me, but even for it to be in the UK, where all my family and friends could come watch, I'm excited. Hopefully it's going to be uh, full fireworks. Listen, Sam Stetson, you can't take nothing away from him. He's uh, coming to fight. Training's going well, sparring's going well. Unless you can see a different new friend. So this is your first title defence, uh, how are you feeling going into it now as the camp so far? Tip top shape mate, yeah, best, best shape of my career, mentally and physically, you know, I, I just, I feel good, so, you know, there, there's no excuses, I feel great and that's the best. He's a lot, it's getting uh, getting about and uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice battle to have, but like I say to you, I'm nice and then get back to world level. Uh, to won the belt against Gary Cornish back in October. What did you make of that fight, George? Uh, yeah, he didn't really have to do. It was a bit of a slug fest, but he, uh, he got there and he got the win. Uh, what do you think his strengths and weaknesses are? Uh, listen, he's a fighter and he pulls him to the end, so like you say, it's going to be an interesting night. I've been at Jelf. I was in Belmarsh for a year. It's worse in training camp than what he's been in jail. Trust me. A uh, 40 year old now, some would say that's when the box starts winding down, but you keep going strength to strength. Winning your last 10 fights, um, why do you think that is? I know what I'm fighting for now. Years ago, I didn't know what I was fighting for. Now I know what I'm fighting for. And uh, I'm fighting for bread. I'm fighting for it for my family, for my kids, and giving them a better life. And, uh, you know, I've got plenty left, you know, which you'll see Saturday night. And uh, come through that a fine, unscathed, then look onto a European title.
congratulations. How does it feel to be British heavyweight champion? Yeah, it feels good. It's, uh, I knew it was going to happen and uh, it was very confident going in there. Uh, it didn't, didn't phrase me at all, so I was uh, I'm just looking forward to the next fight now. This is almost an upwards from here. You seem very settled in the fight. Can you talk us through the game then? Yeah, the plan was just to be relaxed in there. I knew I was levels above him, so I was just relaxed and uh, just making him miss. And I knew sooner or later it'll counter him, so I knew he was going to come to the right. You got six and down twice. Was that something you expected so early on in the fight? I knew as soon as I could hit him clean, he'd be gone, yeah. So, Peter, Huey Fury, British champion, how does that sound? Sounds uh, very good to me. He looked very comfortable in there, what were your thoughts? He was very comfortable. Um, you know, I told him, I said, look, you know, Sam's a very, very good fighter on a British level. But Huey's not British level. You know, like I said, we bypassed the British title because he, he belongs higher than that. But we got a lot of stick for it. So he's come back now, he's took the British title, so he proved that he's well beyond domestic level. So we're looking to get him back in title contention as sharp as possible. Thank you.